All right, second page. I'm still going with the distributed property. So I'm going to start by distributing negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times a positive 5 is negative 20. And I'm finished with distributing. Now number 7, combining like terms. I have x or 8x and 7x, those are alike. And then I have negative 5 and negative 6. So together, 8 plus 7x is 15x. And negative 5 minus, and a negative 6 makes negative 11. So I have 15x minus 11. And then my second one's a little trickier. I have an xy term who's going to match with an xy term. I have an x term matches with an x term. And then all by himself, negative 6y. So if I add just my xy's, I have a negative 4 and a positive 12. Well, that makes positive 8 xy's. And then I look at my x's, a positive 7 and a negative 1. And then get positive 6 x's. And then my last one is all by himself, negative 6y. He stays, negative 6y. So my final answer, 8xy plus 6x minus 6y. And now I am ready to begin two-step equations. All right, number nine. To solve this equation, the first thing I would need to do is get the number um, that's being added or subtracted away from the variable. So y is my goal to get him by himself. So I'm going to start with that minus three. We're going to add three to both sides, do the opposite of negative three. And these go away. I get 20 on this side, still equals to 10y. And y is still not by itself, so divide by 10 on both sides. And y would equal 2, and I'll write that in my final box. y equals 2, and I'm done. Number 10, I still look, what am I adding or subtracting? And that's that negative 5. Well, to make a negative 5 go to 0, I have to do or add positive 5. So negative 5, positive 5 are 0. I still have x over 3. And it's all equal to, careful, negative 17 with a positive 5 is negative. Negatives win, 12. Now to undo that 3, it's x divided by 3. I want to multiply by 3 to undo that division. These go to 1. I'm left with x. And then negative 12 times 3, negative 36. And that would be my answer I'd write in my final box. Number 11. All right, so number 11, I'm going to start by distributing. So make sure you do that. That's the first step whenever you have a multi-step equation. And I get 6x, 3 times 2x. And then I do it to my last one, 3 times 5 plus 15 is all equal to 37. Now I would need to subtract both sides by 15. 6x equals 22. And it's 6 times x, so to undo multiplication, we're going to divide. And x would equal 22 over 6. Well, I'm going to simplify that, because I know I can. Divide by 2, divide by 2, and I get 11 and 3. So x equals 11 thirds. All right, number 12. Again, start by distributing 2x. 2 times a negative 4 is negative 8, minus 12 equals 8. And then I have like terms. So I have negative 8 and negative 12. Those are going to combine. So 2x minus 20 equals 8. Now I have a two-step problem. Add 20 to both sides. And 2x will equal 28. To finish, divide by 2 on both sides of the equation, and x will equal 14. And that's what I'd write in my box, x equals 14. All right, number 13. Again, we have distributing, so start with distributing. 3 times b is 3b. 3 times a negative 6 is a negative 18. And we're still adding 2, and it's all equal to 14. Now I have like terms, negative 18 and 2, so I'm going to combine those. 3b still stays, and I have negative 16 equals 14. 
Now I have a regular two-step equation. So I want to undo the adding or subtracting. In this case, it is negative 16 or minus 16. So we're going to add 16 to both sides. And I get left with 3b equals 14 plus 16. That's 30. And then to finish it off, divide by 3 on both sides. That undoes my multiplication. b is now by himself. And 30 divided by 3 is 10. So b equals 10. All right, on to page three.